can, it'll be able to do anything you want. So it can um, be a teacher or babysit your kids, it can walk your dog, mow your lawn, get the groceries, just be your friend, serve drinks, um, whatever you can think of, it will do. And yeah, it's gonna be awesome. And I, I think this will be the biggest product ever of any kind. Since taking the headship at Tesla, Elon Musk has consistently charted a unique course, diverging from the strategies of his rivals. He aims for the company's offerings to be distinctive and somewhat unconventional, setting them apart from those of Ford, Rivian, Toyota, and others. This approach extends beyond electric vehicles to Tesla's humanoid robot Optimus. Unlike competitors who prioritize funding for capabilities such as running, jumping, or advanced cognitive functions, Musk has stated that Tesla's focus is different. A significant portion of the engineering team's resources is dedicated solely to the development of the robot's hands. Musk, recognized as the wealthiest individual globally, posits that a substantial part of human intelligence is expressed through manual dexterity. He underscores that throughout millions of years of evolution, no other part of the human anatomy has proven as crucial as the hands. Even in the nascent stages of human development, our ancestors accomplished remarkable feats and intricate tasks without the necessity for sophisticated reasoning. This belief is why Musk and Tesla have prioritized the hands in the design of the Optimus robot. He is confident that this focus will enable the Tesla bot to significantly outpace its competitors, positioning it as the most advanced humanoid robot globally, capable of executing hundreds if not thousands of tasks. Today's discussion centers on the significance of Optimus's hands. Okay, hi. Can you do this? I love you. <gasps> You know how to do that? Okay, what should we do? Go running. Replicating the intricate movements of the human hand in a robotic form is a complex endeavor. The foremost engineers of the 21st century are acutely aware that they are in a race against time to match the two million years of evolution that have rendered the human hand the most intricate biomechanical structure on the planet. If one were to identify a body part characterized by the most complex range of motion, it would undoubtedly be the hand. The human hand is capable of an extensive array of movements, including grasping, pulling, pushing, flicking, pressing, and chopping. Any comparable list of movements for another body part would likely fall short. This is why Aristotle famously claimed that the hand is the tool of tools. With 27 degrees of freedom, the human hand enables us to perform any task within our capabilities. Equipped with five dexterous fingers, numerous sensory nerves, and an exceptionally advanced mechanical design, the human hand serves as an ideal instrument for creativity, labor, and intellectual expression. Consequently, the aspiration to develop a machine that can replicate the flexibility and complexity of the human hand has been a long-standing goal in robotics, representing a technological milestone that countless engineers worldwide have pursued for decades. However, when Elon Musk revealed that the next iteration of Optimus' hand boasts 22 degrees of freedom, Tesla Optimus once again shaked the technology sector and sparked extensive debate. This was not due to its geometric design or sophisticated AI capabilities, but rather because of an unexpected feature, a pair of hands that diverges significantly from human hands. The hand, which previously had 11 degrees of freedom, now possesses 22 degrees of freedom, making it only 5 degrees of freedom shy of a human hand. What kind of shoes are you wearing? Are those Skechers? Well... They're kind of a part of my feet, <laughs> but I don't want to give you the shoe size. I'm a little self-conscious about that. <laughs> In practical terms, the hand with 11 degrees of freedom enabled Optimus to perform tasks such as folding clothes, watering plants, delicately holding eggs, installing electronic components, transporting battery trays, and even serving beverages. This is merely the initial stage, as it is evident that both the cognitive and motor functions of Optimus remain relatively rudimentary. This observation heightens our curiosity regarding the advanced capabilities of a hand with 22 degrees of freedom. While observing Optimus in motion, we must acknowledge that the awkward gait is not particularly appealing. 
Many humorously compare Optimus's walking style to that of President Biden, although this gait significantly impacts the robot's ability to maintain balance and fluidity in its movements. Nevertheless, when we see Optimus skillfully handling objects, it is undeniably impressive. Late last year, Tesla showcased a demonstration of its new hands, with 22 degrees of freedom illustrating Optimus' ability to catch a tennis ball with remarkable accuracy. However, it is not widely known that achieving this feat required substantial effort, as 50% of the robot's mechanical complexity is concentrated in this latest generation of hands. In humans, each finger comprises three joints and an advanced arrangement of interconnected muscles. Achieving the replication of these movements in a robotic hand while preserving the dimensions of a natural human hand represents an extraordinary engineering accomplishment. Tesla has revealed that Optimus boasts 22 degrees of freedom solely in its hand, an unparalleled figure among commercial humanoid robots to date, where the majority possess only five to six. Each finger is capable of independent movement, rotation, bending, twisting, and executing delicate touches akin to a human hand. Consequently, Optimus transcends the basic functions of merely gripping or releasing objects, as is typical with most contemporary robots. The engineering team is developing a control mechanism inspired by artificial tendons which replicates the function of human tendons to allow for smoother and more accurate movements. Consequently, the robotic hand can not only open and close, but also execute delicate tasks, such as handling fragile items, typing, or discerning the hardness of different materials. Nevertheless, these advancements introduce new challenges as the integration of such a sophisticated control system into the forearm has inadvertently increased its weight. This impacts the overall equilibrium and the operational capacity of the robotic arm. In response, the development team is currently focused on minimizing the weight of additional components while maintaining power and precision during functionality. A crucial element of the enhancement process involves designing a protective covering for the fingers and palm. This layer must be sufficiently soft and flexible to ensure dexterity and compliance when interacting with humans and the environment. Simultaneously, it must be meticulously engineered to avoid hindering the tactile sensing capabilities of the hand. This poses a significant technical challenge. If the protective layer is excessively thick, the sensors become ineffective. Conversely, if it is too thin, the hand risks damage and wear from frequent use. All these enhancements are directed towards a singular objective, to develop a robotic hand that is not only robust and precise, but also capable of perceiving the world akin to a human hand, marking it a substantial advancement in making Optimus a genuinely valuable assistant in daily life. Tesla commenced testing Optimus on the production lines at the Fremont factory in early 2024, where the robot has been functioning as a worker, a robot that merely walks. A robot that merely walks and talks does not provide substantial value. However, with a hand that is both flexible and powerful, it can execute real-world tasks ranging from the factory floor to domestic settings. The Optimus robot is now capable of picking up small components, tightening screws, applying adhesives, assembling devices, transporting delicate items, and even inspecting products for defects utilizing its tactile sensors. Once integrated into households, Optimus, with its highly agile hands, is capable of performing tasks such as laundry, folding clothes, cooking, washing dishes, mopping floors, tidying up, opening doors, carrying groceries, and engaging with pets. Beyond its practical uses, the dexterity of Optimus' hands facilitates social interactions. A robot that can clap, shake hands, gently touch a shoulder, or provide comfort to an elderly individual with a soft stroke on the back of the hand fosters a new level of emotional connection. This aspect is particularly significant in elder care facilities, hospitals, or special education settings where gentle physical contact can help patients feel valued and understood. With its built-in tactile sensing system, Optimus can assess the appropriate pressure to apply when making contact with a person, ensuring the touch is neither too firm nor too gentle, thus guaranteeing a safe and pleasant experience. Although Elon Musk has frequently cited a price point of $20,000, zero cents, we anticipate that it will take approximately five additional years before the price of Optimus reaches $20,000, zero cents. Should Tesla commence the sale of a limited quantity of units next year, we project the price to be around $40,000, zero cents, which is comparable to the Model 3. At this price, many middle-class American families may consider investing, provided the robot can consistently operate for eight hours daily.
Tesla has highlighted that Optimus is equipped with a sophisticated multi-layered behavioral AI system that records every hand movement, assesses the force applied, and will automatically deactivate if it detects any hazardous behavior. Furthermore, Tesla offers over-the-air software updates and role-based control restrictions to prevent the robot from being weaponized by its user. A pertinent question arises, why is Tesla primarily an electric vehicle manufacturer investing in humanoid robotics? The rationale is rooted in the shift from virtual AI to actionable AI. Regardless of the advancements in artificial intelligence, it remains merely software if it cannot engage with the physical environment. The hand serves as the connection between software and the tangible world. With Optimus's dexterous hand, Tesla is ushering in a new era where AI can genuinely assist humans. While Optimus aims to revolutionize human labor and everyday life, Elon Musk has candidly acknowledged that the Tesla bot will encounter issues upon its initial release. This is entirely reasonable given that humanoid robotics is an exceptionally intricate domain where every movement, reaction, and decision must be nearly perfect and learned from the ground up. One of the initial observable shortcomings is Optimus accuracy in object recognition, which still requires enhancement. Due to insufficiently diverse visual data, Optimus may confuse objects with similar shapes, resulting in errors during task execution. Another significant issue is response latency. The robot may exhibit slow reactions or misinterpret commands, particularly in noisy environments or when signal interference occurs. Regarding mobility, although Optimus has balance control, it remains at risk of falling when traversing thick carpets, high steps, or encountering unexpected collisions with pets or obstacles. Additionally, the robot's voice recognition capabilities are not yet fully adaptable, especially when users speak unclearly or employ non-standard vocabulary. Its dependence on internet connectivity further increases the likelihood of interruptions. If the network is unstable, data synchronization may fail, leading to the robot freezing or behaving incorrectly. Beyond these technical limitations, Optimus also encounters manufacturing challenges, as Tesla cannot simply repurpose the existing EV component supply chain. Most of the robot's parts need to be newly designed and constructed from the ground up. This narrative transcends mere walking robots or intelligent AI, it embodies a pair of hands capable of feeling, acting, and transforming the world. What are your thoughts on Tesla Optimus? How do you perceive its hands? We welcome your opinions in the comments section below. If you found this video enjoyable, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. We look forward to seeing you in the next episode.